What's up, everybody? So I just recently uh, got back into uh, my jiu-jitsu training, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Um, I had been practicing the art for, I want to say, I started right before the COVID hit in 2019, right before 2020 started. Um, I was going maybe three, sometimes four days a week. Um, and I started because a buddy of mine actually um, had been doing it for years and he said it changed his life. So at the time, um, I felt like I was, you know, looking to do something new um, and kind of get back to my roots of competition and um, I had wrestled one year during high school, so it didn't really turn out <clears throat> the way that I had imagined it. Um, so I ended up stop stopping wrestling, but nonetheless, uh, continued football, lacrosse up into college, and then I uh, had just started training. You know, doing lifting and weight training and doing cardio and running. And I just missed that competition. Uh, so I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu actually at, a, at an academy in Norwalk, um, Gracie Sports. So I walked in that first day and I remember being very nervous, had no idea what to expect. I put on a suit. Um, it looked like a suit to me. It was you know, it's called the gi. So I put it on for the first time. I felt weird. I felt uncomfortable. I stepped on the mat with two black belts. And, you know, obviously they didn't, <laughs> they took it easy on me and they just showed me basics. Um, but something happened that first day, like, you know, being exposed and being vulnerable, um, which I don't normally feel like that. Even when I'm in the gym training and lifting and running, I don't really feel too vulnerable and exposed. Um, so that feeling to me actually uh, caused me to want to go back because I was like, wow, if I can feel like this um, and then leave here feeling that much more confident in myself uh, and having, you know, more tools and, and, and skills to learn uh, and to take with me out into the real world. One, for self-defense, but two, um, I feel like, you know, I'm opening up a different part of my brain <laughs> by doing it because it is artistic. It is an art. Um, at the same time, it is a sport too. You know, there's competitions and things like that. Long story short, I ended up signing up that day. This was two, year, uh, two years ago. Yeah, right at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, and then, unfortunately, three months later, we got hit with COVID and all the gyms shut down. So, um, obviously, you know, the academy had to shut down for a little bit. Um, and I never really got back into that rhythm again um, until two years later, um, I felt that same feeling like, all right, something's missing. You know, I'm enjoying my long distance runs. I'm enjoying the weight training. I feel great getting stronger, but I just miss that, <clears throat> you know, the competitive environment um, and, you know, feeling vulnerable, right? And having to really just test myself and get on the mat. You know, when I get on the mat, I feel like, you know, I have, no, it's just me and my, my true spirit, my true being. So, I started uh, back up about a month ago. Right now we're March 21st, so it's been a month and a week. And uh, today I got my first stripe on my white belt, uh, but it it brings a lot of happiness to my life. Um, it brings so much more confidence in my life by practicing the art of jujitsu. Um, I feel like every time I leave the mat, I'm a different, better person. Um, and it's good to be around people that challenge me and push me every time I step on the mat. 
Uh, you know, my job as a coach is to challenge people all throughout the day, but I need to make sure that I'm practicing what I preach. So this is a great outlet for me and a great um, tool for me to have. And, you know, I'm starting to grow a passion toward it. And it's really just starting to weave and ooze into the rest of my life, which is crazy. Like I'm starting to implement the things that I learn from jujitsu into my business, into my relationships, my marriage, everything. So one of the best decisions I made was going back to the academy. Not to mention the master of our school. He is a coral belt. So he is like the highest of highest uh, in terms of rankings. You know, you get a black belt and there's something beyond that. So he's I mean, he's been doing this for his whole life, and he has more knowledge than uh, a lot of people out there when it comes to the art of jujitsu. So um, that also drew me toward it. And, and like all the people in there are just welcoming, um, and they're great people. So I'm excited because, you know, they say white belts, you either fall off or you, you know, start to. Um, work your way toward you know mastering the art so a lot of people it doesn't really click for them and they walk away from it um, I walked away from it for two years but something drew me back to it um, and I'm glad I did and today I got my first stripe so now I got one stripe I'm like <laughs> I can't stop here so uh, I'm excited for the journey it's been it it's been five weeks since I got back in there, and I feel like I'm a different person than I was um, at the beginning of this year. Everything. Uh, you just, you know, the utmost confidence in my in myself. Um, exercise had, has done that for me uh, for a while. But this is a little bit different because, you know, I'm going one-on-one -on -one with my opponent. And, you know... I feel like my true spirit starts to be revealed as I'm, you know, going at it. <laughs> but I'm glad I did it. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. And maybe some of you out there are just searching for something new and feel like you need to start something new or you don't know what it is. For me, it was martial arts. So um, maybe this resonated with you and I'd be happy to share some more information with you. All right, but stay tuned. I'm going to keep you guys in tune with, you know, my journey through um, through this art, with this art. Um, and on top of that, I still am doing my long distance runs. I still have a race coming up in May. I'm doing my strength training, getting stronger. Um, still building the business. Um the good thing about this too, I wanted to talk about having, you know, something to work toward for me has been everything my whole life. I've always needed something to, to, to start to craft and master um, at every sport. And growing up, you know, football was my everything. So I looked at like, okay, the master level of this would be the NFL. Unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. Uh, so now I'm looking more toward mastering the, the, the coaching um, industry, right? Um, but I still was looking for something to master from my own uh, performance, my own athletics. And now, you know, starting up with jujitsu again, I have that back in my life. And they say, if you're consistent and you have the discipline to show up week in and week out, um, and not get too caught up in rankings and belts and stripes. Um, it slowly starts to come together for you. But you got to be patient. <clears throat> so when I was talking about how this is leaked into the rest of my life, my business. Like when you start a business, I'm going on year four starting in April. Um, things don't happen right away. So this is kind of a reminder for me too. Yeah, of course, I want to be a black belt. I'm going to be a black belt. It's going to take me seven, eight, nine years to do that. So just like it takes seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years to get a business really going and, and really start to, you know, 
get past the surface. Uh, so it's a good reminder. Uh, I'm grateful for it. Thank you to everybody at the Gracie Sports Academy um, in Norwalk. Thank you to Master Marcio for all of his knowledge um, and all of the professors in there. So super excited. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Just added something new to my life or re-added it and I feel great. So maybe you guys could find some value in this. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'm going to keep you guys posted on the journey. Um, and we do have our marathon coming up. Not marathon, ultra marathon coming up in uh, in May. So I have what I got one, six, seven, two months left pretty much. I got about two months to get it rolling. So feeling good. All right, y'all. God bless. Talk to you soon.